What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you where to get the Light Flamberge. This weapon, you can get it right at the start of the game and it's very, very powerful. You can also get a key to unlock the chest it's hidden in, which I'll be showing you exactly how to grab. And if you guys enjoy this kind of video, please give it a like and also subscribe and press the bell icon because then YouTube will let you know as soon as the next legendary weapon guide comes out. I've been releasing them daily here on the channel for you guys and I'm really glad to see you're enjoying them so far. But now let me show you where exactly you can obtain this weapon. Okay guys, so in order to find this weapon, after the prologue you will leave Serene, this area on the corner of the map, and you will travel to New Serene just over here. Once you're there you can then leave on the left side of the town and you will come to the Singing Waters, located just here on the map. It's very easy to get, so you get here very early on in the game. And you can literally just run straight over to this location. And then you'll have a local map that looks like this. You come in on the bottom right-hand side, just here. Once you arrive, you're going to want to come all the way down to this area, where you'll find a campsite, the Wen Shavai Camp. And there's also a river right next to it just here and the location you're going to want to go to and there's a secret little campsite where we're going to find a key to unlock a chest we need to use to get this secret item so this is the campsite just here and you can see the river down there at the bottom of the canyon so once you get to the bridge you're going to go left across the bridge and then across the bridge you'll see this tent over here kind of hidden in the forest clearing there will be some bears here that you'll have to teach a lesson for no adequately explained reason. So go ahead and punch them in the face, like so. Get rid of them all. They should be pretty easy for you to fight, especially if you are even a low level, because they're just bears. Um, and then in this campsite, you'll see there is a key. It will just be around here. I've already picked it up, though. Um, and it'll be glowing, kind of like an orangey glow, so you can easily find it. But um, once you grab that key, we can then go to the next area, which is located on the other side of this map, where you originally came in. Just over here, there's a cliff. So I'm going to mark that on the map for you guys. Um, that's the location you walk past as you come in, and that's where we're going to find the secret chest. So let's head over there now. Okay, so we're standing just here where you enter the map, and on the left you will find this cliff over here. Now you'll see this as soon as you come in at the start, and if you like, you can skip this um, going to get the key if you have a high enough lockpicking skill, but otherwise, you see some bandits here guarding a chest. Now I recommend saving the game here, and the best thing to do is to try and sneak through, which I'm probably not going to bother with because, I mean, we can just kill these bandits quite easily. But if you just keep on the other side of this hill here, it's quite easy just to sneak all the way around these bandits so they can't actually spot us. We should be able to do this at quite a low level, really. Um, just because you don't actually need to fight any of the bandits, you can just sneak all the way around them um, to get this secret chest. Ah, oh, there's another one here. Let's wait for that to go down. And it's best to do this at night time if you're going to do it this method. But if you sneak behind this bandit just here, you can easily sneak attack him um, and kill him. Or we can just wander over the rocks here, like so. And we can see the chest just over here. And we should just be able to loot this. And here's the light flamberge right there. So pick that up. And then what you can do is just run away. Or if you like me, you can kill them all. Let's use stasis right here. And then start dealing with these annoying bandits. Get wrecked up. You don't even know what to do. Destroyed by my superior power. Boom. Take that magic missile to the face. Oh. oh, don't even try and fire your stupid pistol at me, mate. Come at me. Best way is to parry them, otherwise they just parry all your attacks, which is really annoying. 
Is there another guy? No, Kurt's already taken care of him. Very good job, Curty boy. So yeah, just to show you guys again, the chest is just here that they've clearly been burying along with some dead bodies. Maybe they robbed a caravan for that unique item, but let's take a look at the item itself now. So here we are. It's a light flambird. It does 264 damage, which is incredible at the start of the game, and that's without even upgrading it at all. It also has a armor damage of 13, which is obviously low because it's a sword, and a stun chance of 95%, fury generation of 8%, and a fury cost of the abilities of, of 33%. And it also requires the one-handed blade ability and free agility. But as you can see, it looks like a sneaky snake of a sword right there. So now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and upgrade it and show you guys how much damage it can potentially do. And then you can decide if it's worth you coming back for or picking up early on at the start of the game. But as an early investment, I think it's definitely worth grabbing at the start of the game. And also, if you come and loot these bandits, you'll get some very good armor for your level like this is a rare piece of armor 96 armor and only requires one endurance to put on so you can really kill out your character by defeating those bandits as well if you choose to do so oh wow this guy has a blackened pepper box as well which is 319 damage on a pistol very nice let's see what else they're holding so this guy has a sharpened steel broadsword saber 410 damage and priest gloves What's this guy over here got? Just some gold. And this one over here, just some more gold and ammo. Okay, there we go. Let's head out and see if we can uh, upgrade our goods. All right, so let's take the light flambeurs to the workshop and upgrade it. Starting off with the pommel, obviously we can upgrade several different things here. Either the, the maximum physical damage, the armor penetration, or the stun or the fury generation as well. I always recommend maximizing the physical damage on swords though, and we can upgrade that by 60 with the weighted elongated pommel right here. So let's accept that. Then the other upgrade is the guard of the sword. And as you can see, there are a variety of cool looking upgrades, but again, we're gonna to want to maximize damage with the basket guard just here. And now we have a light flambeur that does 384 total damage and it's just insanely good so check that out guys it looks very cool indeed but guys i hope you found this video helpful if you're looking for an awesome armor set to go with this that you can also get early on in the same location that's actually the same armor set i'm wearing right now check out the link in the description for all the other unique weapon and armor locations and if you enjoyed the video found it helpful please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to see more greedful videos i also do skyrim videos as well and pretty much everything rpg related here on the channel but thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one goodbye